Hey guys, Mike here, and uh, I installed Yellow Dog Linux on my PlayStation 3 uh, yesterday morning, and I played around with it for a little bit, and there's not a whole lot going for it, but I'm going to show you what you can expect if you decide to install the newest version, 6.1, on your PlayStation 3. So when you first install it and you boot it up for the first time, it as soon as you log in with your username and password it, it sends you to the home screen which is right here you have your computer uh, your home folder and the trash bin and then you can start using programs right away and down here um, I moved my toolbar you'll have it at the top of the screen but I moved it at the bottom and hit it um, you have uh, some of the programs like uh, Firefox Thunderbird Pigeon which is a uh, internet uh, messenger kind of like trillion where it compiles a bunch of different uh, messenger names into one program uh, your rhythm box which is your music player open office stuff like word processor spreadsheet and presentation and a clock so I have Firefox already open on my Twitter and Firefox seems to work okay except for one thing I'm going to show you really quick if I want to go to YouTube I apologize for the camera because the camera that I'm using isn't perfect for taking video of a screen I wish I could uh, screen cap it but I'm running it through HDMI and I have no idea how to do that as you can see uh, yeah there's there's nothing in this area uh, the video just disappears because for whatever reason there's no flash support for right when you install it for Firefox um, you'll have to go to you'll have to search the internet and find forums or search YouTube for tutorials on how to get the YouTube videos to work I found one good one um, that I'm probably going to use, but uh, you can search for it yourself. It's not that hard to find. There's not really that many videos on Yellow Dog Linux. But it would be nice if YouTube worked and other sites like Hulu and stuff that I like to go to uh, will not work. Also, let's say you want to. Well, let's say you're into video games. And I know IGN right now has scheduled maintenance, so I won't use them. But let's say you like to go to giantbomb.com site about video games. And right where this red stripe is, is where a bunch of flash icons would pop up if you've never been to the site. But it just says loading. Because there's no flash plugin for whatever reason. But you can still, you know, go to the forums. You can read reviews. Um... You could do the same for website for any website that just has text based stuff. Like if I wanted to go and uh, read a review for Velvet Assassin, I could do that. Everything seems to work great. But if you wanted to watch a video, um, if they don't have the option to download it, then you're not going to be able to watch it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but it, but after I guess you just gotta dive into it and go into the get into the community and see what they have uh, because a lot of people are working on improving uh, Yellow Dog while they're using it so that's that's a plus with Linux but it's also it, it's a very tedious process so. Yeah, that's basically all I have. Um, it comes with like your basic accessories, like a calculator, uh, sticky notes, I guess. Like this is a yellow pad, and I don't know how to use this, so like okay. I don't understand. Okay. It has games like uh, Blackjack and Mines and 
Mahjong. Uh, your graphics, it comes with uh, the program GIMP, which is, uh, okay, I have to install it, so I'm not going to do that, but that's like a, like a really simple Photoshop. Your internet stuff, you have like your network manager, Firefox, stuff like that, your email, it comes with Thunderbird. Sound and video, you have a mu uh, movie player, codec installer, you have to install your codecs. So that's kind of a pain. Your office, so if you wanted to like lay on the couch or in your bed and do your homework, you could with a presentation, spreadsheet, and a word processor from OpenOffice. I don't know which version it is. Um, your system tools, like add remove programs, stuff like that, and an option to boot back into the PlayStation 3 to play uh, games if you want, or use their web browser because it actually works. Um, in the desktop, you have like your virtual desktops, which, like, if I wanted to open up Firefox in the first page, and then I come over to this next desktop from one of these four slots in the bottom left, I can have uh, like my instant messenger out of the way of all my other programs, so there's not a lot of clutter. And also, you can see that the wallpaper is different from this is like. So when you first boot up, this is the the desktop you're going to show up in. Oh, then when you flip over to the second, it's a nice uh, blue sky. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, backgrounds that you could change for it. And two and three, which are the next two, they're like the same. So if you wanted to open up another program, you could. And the other ones, so that you can multitask easily. Um, there's really not a whole lot that's really going for this um, yeah I mean if you wanted to I guess have open office or if you just wanna you know chill I am uh, browse the internet from your couch that's cool uh, I would definitely try it because it's free I mean why not but I'm really interested in seeing what they're gonna actually have in their next build be able to have more flash support so it's more user friendly because I've heard talks that I believe Sony wants their PlayStation to not only be a console for you know just like multimedia like playing games music and movies they really also want it to be a computer so the guys working on Yellow Dog are uh, you know really trying to make it happen so yeah that's pretty much it with uh yellow dog i went out and bought a usb keyboard for like 17 bucks to try this out and uh you know it's a really stable system i haven't had any errors yet um it's really quick the programs open up quick um it, it's really cool uh, you should just give it a shot so this is Yellow Dog Linux version uh, 6.1, and you can go and find it at Terra Soft Solutions or something like that. And it's free, and it's 3.7 gigs, so that's a big download, but you should definitely give it a shot and stuff like that. Okay, so that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and have a good night.